not believe and teach eternal security, you destroy hope. Your hearers will never know for certain they are saved, even though God has declared salvation through Christ with absolute certainty. I like this little uh, statement by, by an angel in, in, in Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. It says, uh, and she will bear a son, and you will call his name Jesus, for he might save his people from their sins. He'll hopefully, no, he will save his people from their sins. You see, we can say that kind of absolute certainty because Jesus is truly the Savior. And if you believe in him, you are saved from your sins, period. Your sins will not condemn you to hell. If you do not believe and teach eternal security, you must deny or change numerous direct statements from Scripture that teach eternal security. And we're going to look at 34 clear Scriptures on the subject of eternal security this morning. And so this, this is, um, you have to deny the Word of God. If you do not believe and eter- teach eternal security, you remove the basis for genuine spiritual growth. Assurance causes spiritual growth while doubt extinguishes it. And if you don't believe me, go home and reject your children. <laughs> you know, you, you start, re- you just reject your kids and see how your day goes. Uh, they just do not, they're not happy campers. They're more like crappy hampers, you know. Uh, they're the opposite of a happy camper. And they, if you do not ex- Give them that sense that I love you. I don't like what you're doing here, but I love you. If they don't have that sense, they are miserable people, and they will make your life miserable.